Eric did amazingly well. Are you impressed? How gorgeous is she? She just flows through it and she's never had any dancing experience, no gymnastic experience. She just naturally got that flow. And it's funny, you know, you can work and work and work on posing and some people find it natural as she does. Surprisingly, she's very surprised that I think she's natural. And um, other people really, really struggle. I find it hard because of um, the stiffness in my back. If you've got a nice curve, generally you can pose beautifully. So this is what it's all for. Just having some food here. Yum, salmon and broccoli. Uh, this is what it's all for. The European Championships. Shaw Theatre in London. Tickets are £25 at four o'clock. So there it is available. Tickets are available through Ticketmaster. The European Championships hosted on the 28th of September, 2019. Watch this space. I am helping out the UFB. I'm gonna be backstage helping with organization. We're really looking forward to it. Let's see what this journey brings. For this? No, these are the worst <laughs> things in the world. They're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's Two. Where do you feel that? Is it in the glute mostly? Yeah. Good. Well, to be honest, everywhere. <laughs> That's it. Shoulders well, right back, now. chest up, tummy in. Halfway down. I know. That's the one. Stay really low. beautiful is the weather in the UK this weekend. So we're down at the beach, it's eight o'clock in the morning. I'm about to take the dog. There's a few dogs in there. We're taking the dog for a swim. So he's in Newfoundland and they are actually made for the water. They're sea rescue dogs. And if you don't know what they look like, they look like big, big bears. Oh God, now I've got to get in. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a gym bunny, not so much a, um, a water girl. <laughs> just go static and we cannot shift that fat no matter what well as we age I'm 50 next year by the way so as we get older our bodies will not respond in the same way there are a lot of hormonal issues going on there's lots of displacement of hormones people are going through stress anxiety that also releases cortisol which is another hormone that has an effect on your weight also food habits habits from childhood so things that have affected you when you're younger are going to affect your habits when you're older so how do we shift all this what is it that needs to be done so i can only go from my experience with clients that have said okay Liv, this is what i wasn't doing and this is what i realize now i should have been doing so here's a top tip and this is from this amazing d hazelwood 
and uh, she's lost, lost over 60 kilograms now, which is an incredible journey. I am so chuffed for her, um, an immense journey that she's been on. So she said to me that quite often when people start, because of the habits that they've had in the past, they think that they stick to a plan. For example, if I gave someone a food plan, they'd say, yeah, Liv, I'm sticking to it. But actually, subconsciously, they're not. And without realizing it by the conscious mind, the subconscious is making them kind of reach for foods that don't serve them. And this is to do with habit that has been generated over a period of years. So this is why mindset is so important, yeah? You can't just say to someone, oh, here's a CD, it's gonna cure you, read this book, it's gonna be great. The support and the guidance is vital, absolutely vital for you having a great body as you get older. Now, if you're young and you're watching this and you'll think, yeah, yeah, so what, we don't care. But actually, the things that you do when you're young are gonna affect you when you're older. So think about when you're in your 20s and 30s, trying to develop good exercise habits, good training habits that are really gonna benefit you when you're older. Hi, Elaine, how are you doing? Hi, Dan. So, top tip. Number one, use smaller plates. Have you ever thought of that? So look at the size of the plates that you're eating from. Look at the amount of food that you're piling on it. Maybe get your portion sizes slightly less. And that's going to have a fundamental effect in the long run. Not immediately, but in the long run. Number tip, top tip two is pile up on vegetables first. So go with veg first. Then you can add your meats and your carbohydrates. Okay, ladies, want to lose weight pretty quickly? So, top tip number three, try not to overload on carbohydrates at night. And if you do have, hi Maria, if you do have carbs, Michelle, how are you? If you do have carbs at night, make sure they are low GI. What is a low GI carb? Well, you could go for sweet potatoes. You could go for like brown rice. And you could go for something like quinoa. Ladies, if you want to lose weight, do not go for bread and do not go for pasta. You're going to get a kind of a, a bloat, a bloat of your belly. So some people will be intolerant to different types of foods. Some people are intolerant to grains, aren't they, Maria? So you have to think about avoiding those foods that make you flare up, okay? So go for foods that are clean and pure. So lots of fresh vegetables. Go for good fats like salmon if you eat fish you could go for mackerel ladies if you're in your menopause flax seeds they're full of phytoestrogens we need this to support us as we become older to support dunks how are you doing to support oh you're good okay oh thanks michelle you sweetie how are you hope you're gonna have a good weekend and ladies remember fruits seeds nuts great okay don't overeat on them so remember, top tip one, use smaller plates. Top tip number two was to increase the amount of vegetables that you're having on the plate and then add the protein and then add the carbohydrates. Ladies, if you want to lose a little bit of weight, try and cut those heavy carb loads in the evening. Don't forget you can have a lot of sediment in the gut just sitting there at night as you're sleeping. We can actually hold up to five pounds of waste in our gut, just stagnant. So you can imagine what the poor body's having to cope with. It's all right, you feel great eating it, but your body's gonna have to process that. So in the morning, apple cider vinegar, get the gut working with a little bit of warm lemon juice. If you don't like the acidity there, go for celery juice. Look at the medical medium, amazing. If you haven't read that book, read it. Um, so celery juice have a profound effect on gut health. The gut is the second brain, yeah? Serotonin is made in the gut. This is gonna make you feel good. So how do you produce more serotonin? Serotonin is a hormone that affects your happiness, it affects your mood, and up to, depending on which paper you're reading, up to 80 to 90% of this can be made in the gut lining. So let's have a little rethink about how many carbohydrates, such as bread and pasta with wheat and gluten in, we're having how many saturated fats, alcohol, things like coffee, things like refined sugar, biscuits, cakes, things like that limit it i'm not saying cut it out you know we're not all an angel are we and we wouldn't want to eat like that anyway necessarily we have to be social we want to have a lovely time it's everything in moderation it really is and if you can do that and you can exercise regularly 
and you can find a way that makes your body respond and that is really key find a way and that is my job i find a way to make people's bodies respond and start to drop fat start to get that waistline back if you're in the menopause yeah see you later don't forget to check out my channel live fit freedom one two three four subscribe to live fit freedom youtube channel make sure you check out my insta at live fit freedom